Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I keep having quite a lot of people in the comments section on many of the different one meal a day videos stating that they have issues with getting bloating whilst eating one meal a day. So I want to share with you all the different reasons that could be causing it so then you can gain awareness around this and actually address the root cause of the underlying issue that is causing bloating in the first place. So the first one that can cause this is drinking liquids with your food. Do not do this ever. A lot of alternative medical systems, you could say, such as traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine say that you should drink water with your food to improve your digestion, but that is a load of misinformation. Just completely scrap that if you've learned that. Because yeah, hydrating yourself with liquids whilst eating food is actually gonna dilute your stomach acid levels and a lot of people have issues with stomach acid production so yeah make sure you're avoiding them at all costs whether it's juice smoothies or water or any other types of liquids drink them before you are eating your meal and make sure it's left your stomach before you start eating it and that's absolutely fine or wait until the meal has fully digested and then drink your liquid so yeah that's a very very simple solution number two is just not chewing your food enough i remember in the past i used to just chew it a couple of times my food and just inhale it pretty much and it had a whole host of negative effects on my digestion and if you're not chewing it thoroughly enough your mouth is not producing enough saliva which has enzymes in there to help break down the food so yeah, if you're not chewing thoroughly enough, the food's gonna sit in your stomach for a lot longer than it ideally should do. And then it can cause things such as gas, fermentation and putrefaction, which is then going to cause you to be bloated. So that's something to be very, very mindful of. When you're eating your food, try and eat without any distractions and make sure you chew your food until it's pretty much drinkable. And you'll watch, this is just gonna help improve your digestion overall and help you get rid of that bloating issue. The third one can be due to eating specific foods with other foods. So for example, never ever ever eat fruits with cooked food. It's really big bad news. There's sometimes that I do this, but if you don't have optimal digestion, and I've worked on my digestion for years, it can be a real bad food combination to be doing that can cause a lot of people bloating. But I always make sure with things like watermelon and durian that I never ever eat them with cooked food because I would get serious bloating from them. Certain things such as acid fruit, which are tomatoes, lemons and limes, and a lot of other different fruits as well. They're not necessarily always an issue for people, but the majority of fruits will be. So make sure that you keep your fruits away from cooked food the majority of the time, and just be very mindful of the foods you're eating. So if you eat certain foods combined together and you're getting bloating from it, try and just be mindful of what food could be causing it, and try removing one food from that meal that you had next time that you have it and go through a process of elimination of finding out what could be causing it and stop adding that to your food. But the number one issue is people eating things like cucumbers and watermelons and bananas and all these other types of fruits with cooked food. And a lot of people out there say that there is correct food combining, you can find food combining charts, but I have found for each individual it varies except for the fruit combination with cooked food. So yeah, it's all about working out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And I'm always very mindful of what I am eating. And obviously if you're eating so many different ingredients together, it could be quite confusing to find out what is exactly causing the issue. So the simpler you eat, the easier you're gonna be able to work out what food could be causing the bloating issue. And the fourth one can be due to low stomach acid production, which I mentioned earlier. So many people have this issue. And if you've had anti-acids, then you're definitely gonna have issues with low stomach acid production. And if you're someone that has food come out where it's food particles that haven't digested so well, that's a very, very clear sign that you have low stomach acid production. And having this issue as well will cause gas, bloating, some people diarrhea or constipation and a whole host of unwanted negative effects, which will just have negative unwanted effects on your mental and physical health and digestive health holistically. So you really want to be resolving this issue. And the thing that causes low stomach acid 
production the majority of the time is specific nutritional deficiencies. So you want to be making sure your body's getting all the micronutrients that it needs for adequate amounts of stomach acid to be produced. So what I would recommend, which you use with many of the clients that I help and coach around the world, is using the most broadly spectrum multi-nutrient supplement that's in the most bioavailable form with nothing toxic added to it because I'm telling you, almost all supplements on the market are garbage and most of them are created by big pharma companies as well. So yeah, I have a lot of people that I work with that tell me the supplements they're taking and 99% of the time I'm selling them garbage and to replace them with the ones that I recommend to them in the coaching sessions that I do with them. So yeah, what I do is I put some links down below for a UK, US and worldwide supplier that can deliver the most highest quality multi-nutrient supplement to your door. And something else that you can do to improve your stomach acid production is using raw organic apple cider vinegar that is unfiltered, unpasteurized and with the mother. It must come under this criteria, otherwise you will not get the full benefits for improving stomach acid production. And what you would do is, you would get eight ounces of water, one tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar, mix it up together and have this about 15 to 20 minutes before your meal. And then it's gonna massively increase your stomach acid production just before you consume the meal and while you're consuming the meal. So then the food's gonna be broken down a lot easier and it won't stay sitting in your stomach for ages, which could then eliminate the bloating issue that you have. And if you don't know where to get this type of apple cider vinegar from, I put some links down below for the most highest quality apple cider vinegar that comes under the criteria that I've mentioned. And this is a very well known natural remedy for resolving this issue and time and time again people get so many great results for it resolving their digestive issues and bloating issues as well. Number five can actually be that you are just not used to feeling so full with eating so many calories in one sitting with one meal within the day. And I've had so many different people, for example, my mum, when she was here last year and she was eating around two meals, she kept saying to me, I feel bloated and I've got bloating going on. I was like, no mum, you're just really, really full and you're not used to eating that amount of food. So yeah, for someone that's not used to it, it could just be that is what is happening to you and you just need to get used to that feeling. And number six can be that you're not relaxing and resting after eating your meal. Because if you're eating your meal, and then you're moving around and doing exercise or being very busy and stressed out, it's actually gonna slow down the food being digested within your stomach so it will sit in there for longer than it ideally should be in there and then it will cause bloating issue due to something that I mentioned earlier with, with the food fermenting, rotting and putrefying and causing all of these toxic alcohol substances to be created within your stomach that then causes you to have bloating. So make sure after you've eaten your meal for at least one to three hours afterwards that you are taking it easy and resting and just making sure that you are breathing deep and just enjoying the time whilst you're taking it easy and allow yourself to just wind down at the end of the day because doing this as well is just not going to also help you resolve bloating but it's also going to help you wind down for the night so you can fall asleep easier and have a better state of deep sleep. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone you think needs to learn about why they may be getting bloating with one meal a day and how they can go in the direction of resolving it with the things that I've mentioned in this video. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more one meal a day informational videos, what I eat with my one meal a day, vegan mukbang, videos, calisthenics videos, calisthenics progression videos and many other videos to help you go in the direction of achieving the body that you desire, the energy levels and the body as well and sustain those long term. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.